Weekend Camping Update with Mike and Beak. Good evening and welcome to Weekend Camping Update, the show that parks itself in your living room and refuses to leave. <laughs> First up, great news for the RV industry. RV shipments are expected to rise throughout 2024 with estimates ranging from 329,000 to 359,000. So if you're tired of your landlord, just know you're not alone. Plenty of people are moving into RVs because nothing says I've made it like giving your landlord a bird as you drive away in a vehicle that costs as much as your house. <laughs> and speaking of escapism, RV sales are booming thanks to the 45 million Americans planning RV trips this summer. Apparently, these trips are the only way to avoid your high school friends. <laughs> In other news, the government has issued new RV recalls. Daimler Trucks is recalling RVs due to fuel filter hoses that may disconnect and leak fuel. This could potentially cause a fire. But if you spend as much time building campfires as we do, we call that a feature. Better to have it and not need it. Ford Travel Incorporated is also recalling some models because of a circuit board that may short and overheat. They say it's to avoid fires, but we all know it's just to prevent people from realizing its true potential as an induction cooktop. <laughs> And let's not forget Thor Motor Coach recalling RVs due to incorrect circuit breakers that could cause wiring to overheat. Those engineers must have thought, Bzz, shut it off! Bzz. <laughs> Switching gears, Alco Vehicle Technology has announced a new senior VP of R&D. Their goal, to create an RV that doesn't just drive itself, but park itself too. Next on the list is a virtual assistant that will complain about gas prices. You're welcome. But wait, there's more. The Dirt and State Farm released their 2024 best places to RV. The top spot goes to anywhere but New Jersey. In environmental news, there's a new push for greener RVs with better fuel efficiency and solar power options. Because why destroy the planet when you can destroy your relationship with your spouse by using a compost toilet? <laughs> the RV industry is expected to see continued growth next year with rising consumer interest in outdoor lifestyles. So if you see someone backing up an RV in a tight spot, tell them that looks interesting. <laughs> Used travel trailer prices are dropping in value because RVs are getting cheaper. For those of you sitting on a portfolio of Beanie Babies, now's the time to invest. <laughs> Arkson, known for making yachts, is now making an $11 million RV. When we reached out to Arkson customers and asked, why would you spend so much on a recreational vehicle? They said, you know the worst part about traveling cross country? Poor people. Yeah. For those of you who think that $11 million is a bit much for an RV, yeah, it is. <laughs> Camper World is planning the future with new leadership. It's like a relay race, but instead of passing the baton, they're passing the responsibility. Well, that's all for tonight, weekend camping update. Remember, if it's rolling, you should have chalked the tires.